Hi, and welcome to JD's Longbox. I'm your host, JD. For this episode, we're taking a look at Weapon X, originally published in Marvel Comics Presents issues number 72 to 84 in 1991, and then collected in a trade paper back in 1994. Wolverine was created by Len Wein and John Romita Sr. Weapon X is a true auteur work, written, drawn, inked, and colored by Barry Windsor Smith. This is it, the story of how Logan got his adamantium skeleton and claws and became the Wolverine. Part 1. Writing The story is told almost entirely in voiceovers and radio communications, adding context and atmosphere to the already striking images. A former soldier known as Logan has been carrying a secret, and the scientists of the Weapon X program have discovered that he is a mutant with the ability to heal rapidly. They force him to undergo the adamantium bonding process, an excruciating experiment to fuse the unbreakable metal to his bones. But something doesn't go to plan and he starts drawing excessive adamantium, specifically into his forearms until his metal claws burst through his hands. Through mind control, the Weapon X program tries to use him as a living weapon, testing him against a pack of wolves and a grizzly bear. But after months of torment and experimentation, some part of Logan remembers that he is still a man. From there on out, it's the hunter and the hunted as Logan fights an internal battle to determine if he is a man or a beast, while he stalks and kills his way through the technicians and soldiers until he can hunt down the scientists that did this to him. This gets a 9.5. Part 2. Pencils. Windsor Smith proves why he's the perfect artist to flesh out this story. His images are detailed, packed with cables, computer lights, and other tech, while his bodies and faces have a grotesqueness that, like the proverbial train wreck, may be disturbing, but beg you to look closer. This gets a 9. Part 3. Inks. The inks gives the perfect tone for this book, dark and fluid. While not always clear, the shading and hatching add to the mystery. This gets an 8.5. Part 4. Colors. Like everything else in this story, the colors are surreal and expertly crafted. Always a little too bright or a little too colorful for real life, but somehow still balanced for each scene. The color palette is more cinematic than your typical four-color comic from that era. This gets a 9. Overall score, this adds up to a 90%. Final take. The whole book has a sense of foreboding that feels like this was all somehow preordained, that these things were somehow fated for Logan to become the Wolverine. I hope you liked this review. Be sure to like and subscribe, and then check out some of my other videos. If you want to see the first miniseries to flesh out this mysterious character, then check out my review of the Wolverine Limited series. And if you want to learn the secret origin of the man we call Wolverine, then check out my review of Origin. Until next time, I'm JD, and this box is closed.